This is the L'Oreal Pro. This is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible Concealer. I'm using the shade Sand Beige. I got it on Amazon.com. I've yet to see it in the grocery stores yet. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Infallible products, so I'm curious to see how this turns out. I also got the Infallible Sponge. It was really corny. Yeah, I ordered this too because I thought it was cute. It just matchy. I even put on like the Infallible foundations. I mixed um, the Pro Glow. I tried to do that alone, but then I remember I was going out. So I used the Pro Matte and I mixed these two together. So it's not too much glow. I'm not gonna be like too dewy when I'm out. Let's break this baby open and see what it's talking about. I got it to highlight, although I think it may be a little bit too dark. The concealer comes in eight shades. I ordered the color Sand Beige, but I probably should have got more of a nude beige shade. Um, they retail for $9 on Amazon. This was about seven. But yep, yeah, this is more of like a corrective shade for me, to be honest. So I still probably gotta order another one. Well, I can't highlight and contour with this. So this, I guess you blend with this side. It's soft and creamy. First thing that comes to mind with this is it's like my, I feel like this sponge just basically soaked up all this concealer that I put on my face. That's probably why these sponges didn't do that well. I've been yet to see this in the grocery store. I actually got this from Amazon too. Well, I had yet to have a concealer that was like this. That was my actual shade <laughs> now. Uh, thanks to uh, L'Oreal. I'm Sam Beige, but in all it is, my only gripe of this infallible collection is in like, I'm a different shade in all of them. Like, I got 209 in this one. I'm between the 207 and the 208 in the matte one. But then when I got a 208 in the new one, it's like way too light. Like, Lori, I'm gonna need y'all to get y'all colors together. I mean, as far as the concealer, it's not full coverage. It's not very heavy. It's very light. This is actually a concealer that I will be using on my days where I just need a little bit of extra coverage. I've got some little like breakout situations going on here, so I'm just gonna blend them. Blend this in, tone it down a little bit more, but I'm so disappointed. This sponge honestly has nothing on the beauty blender. I don't even waste your money. I feel mad that I wasted my money on this. But it's eight dollars. I will put the link down below to Amazon if you want to try it. It is great for natural coverage, I know, because I can just give this natural slay right here. But for highlighting and contour, now I'm not so sure. But I'm pretty sure the would be. I can just like kick myself for not ordering more than one. So let's do this. If you have this concealer already and you use it to highlight and contour, let me know. And right now we're just gonna base this video on natural, but again, I love it. It has a glow, it blends in with the foundation, like it, everything meshed well, like seamlessly together. together. Like my whole face has like this natural glow. So it's glowy, it's not too heavy, and it's something that I can definitely work with. I'm sure it's just as good as I like shade, but, but this video just really took me back to the basics and reminded me that concealers used to just be used for just covering up the redness. And then this shade, Sam Beige, was not only a concealer, but it kind of worked as a little bit of a corrector for me too because of the salmon tones in it. Okay, so I finished my makeup. That concealer wasn't necessarily like a highlighting concealer, but I just did natural. I forget everybody don't do all that highlighting contour. Sometimes people just wanna look plain and natural like this. This is my plain and natural. Well, not so low glam, cause I am glowing a little bit. But um, it sits well with my, part, with my powder. I put on my Laura Mercier. Let me see. I don't see no creasing. Um, I don't look dry underneath the eyes. I have a nice natural glow. Um, the theme of this look is luminous and I feel very luminous right now. I feel like it's a great product. 
It's affordable, it's $9. You should be able to find it at the drugstore soon. This right here, if y'all find this at the drugstore, run away from this because this is trash. And it's a waste of your money, so don't even waste your time. Like, ugh, I don't even know I did this to myself, you know, because it was cute. I, I just wanted something cute. I bought something cute. But I recommend the concealer. I think that it is awesome. I think that it is like a buildable coverage, but it's not it's not full coverage, but it's a buildable coverage because it makes your skin look naturally luminous. And I'm all about like the natural luminous and I'm all about the glow. So with that said, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. Um, hit the bell next to it if you like notifications for when I post new videos. But until then, you guys, I will see you in my next video. Mwah.